Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. Today I am going to discuss about how you can use if a statement in field calculator uh, to classify something. For example, if I go to the open attribute table, here you can see there is a column which is named as land. So what I am trying to explain here, for example, I will uh, give uh, unclassified as 15, water as 14, urban as 13, barren land as 12, vegetations as 11 and so on you can do it manually for example if i add and field i am giving a name numbering so i will uh, give number here right so i can give double uh, in case you are uh, giving a uh, text so then you have to select text but I am giving number, so I, I am selecting it as double, okay? Then click on, okay. Now, if I try to give unclassified as 15, what I can uh, do, I can go to editor, start editing, and then give uh, a manual number here for example 15 then water is 14 urban is 13 13 13 13 then barren land as 12 vegetation as 11 11 11 and so on okay so you can do it manually but sometimes it is uh, so difficult because there can be many rules here and if you do it manually it will take a lot of time so instead of doing it like this we'll uh, do it in another way so click on the numbering column then right click on it go to field calculator select yes select python then click on show code block and then define your function so write def and give a space, give a function name, any valid function name. For example, I can give ABCD. Uh, okay. Then give a first bracket, give a parameter name. Uh, for example, I am giving a parameter name as A. Okay. Then close the first bracket, the colon, and click on enter. Then give double space. Write X equal to which is the first one it is unclassified so write it in um, between inverted comma and class c okay then give a colon give enter for space okay then i will return it as 15 right then click enter give double space write a leaf x equal to which is the second one, second one is water, right? Close the inverted comma, give colon, then again give four space, return 14. Then a leave, sorry, a leave x equal to, which is the third one, it is urban, okay? Then give colon, return it as 13 if x equal to which is the fourth one where in length return it as 12 then write if x equal to visitations return it as 11 Right, x equal to crop plant. Return it as 10. Then if x equal to wet plant. Return it as 9. So I think it is uh, done. Okay. Remember about the intent. Uh, okay, uh, let's finish it first. So now go to the uh, this box, write the function name, which is ABCD. So what you are trying to classify this column, right? Which is the land column. So where is land? Here it is. So double click here, okay? 
you can close the first bracket. Here you can see there are two exclamation marks um, before and after the word land. Okay. Then click on OK. Now here you can see it is um, shown. It is showed the number here. It is showing the number here. Uh, for example, we have uh, given unclassified as 15, water as 14, R1 as 13, and uh, so on. Here you can see it is uh, very easy right now. So if you go to field calculator, here you can see I have uh, given spaces or intent it. So you can check the intent here uh, by, uh, for example, double space uh, or three spaces or something like that. And uh, can see, you can check if it uh, show any error. But I basically do it like this uh, because it is convenient for me. So you can check uh, it like this. So another thing you have to remember, if you see any error, for example, you have uh, done anything wrong, wrong, so it will show you an error message. So you can check the error messages uh, from here. For example, go to geoprocessing, then results. Uh, here you can see the error messages. So I was just practicing it previously. It was uh, showing some errors. So here you can see the error messages. For example, if you go to the latest uh, error messages and click on the messages, here you can see the error messages or something like that. It has been processed, uh, so it is not showing any error. For example, uh, see these error messages, okay? Um, so click on here, here you can see the error messages are showing here. So you can uh, check the errors there and do it like uh, this. Now, think that I uh, want to give 15 as unclassified, 14 as water, 13 as urban, and so on. I'm just uh, doing it to show you how you can uh, do this column. So I have already done it. So just like the previous one, I have added a field. But remember one thing. Uh, for example, I have given uh, given it as name, which is the title here, and then type as text because you are going to write the text here, right? Or classify the uh, classify the number as text here. Then I have again go to field calculator, yes, and I have already written the script here. For example, I have uh, taken function na name as A, B, C, D, E, then a parameter as Y. Then I have written if Y equal to 15. So what I am trying to return, return it as unclassified, right? Then a leaf Y equal to 14, return it as water. Uh, then for 13, return it as uh, urban, okay? So you can do it like this. And then here I have written the function name, which is now A, B, C, D, E. And then what you are trying to classify? This column, right? Numbering. Okay. So write A, B, C, D, E, then give a first bracket, then double click on numbering. So here you can see it is here. And then close the uh, first bracket and click on OK. And here you will uh, see the column just like this. So you can understand that uh, it is um, very easy. So you can check the uh, check and uh, change the intent or uh, spacing or you can uh, do some errors here to see what kind of error messages it show. It, it can show or you can you can check by doing it uh, as double rather than text if it uh, show any error or what kind of error you can just play around and uh, check the error messages and can solve it uh, which i have already um, shown here okay so that's the process um, thank you see you in next tutorial